Yeah. Uh, we've seen <laughs> we've seen a few a few snaps so far with you and your be playing together. What's the potential of that package? Of both of you playing at the same time. One of you can obviously go out and slot or line up a receiver. Um, it's a high potential play. Just it's a high what play? It's a high potential play that yeah. we'll, we'll run something of that sort. Just different ways to get me enjoying the game at the same time. Try to create mismatches for the defense. How many of those have you run together, do you think, for two weeks? I don't have an exact number, but it's, it's a decent amount um, to keep the defense on their head. How good can he be from what you've seen in high school, from what you saw Saturday? Uh, I've, Joe's been here all summer. I've been watching him all summer. And our uh, captain, Joe, had a position to be very, a very good back um, with the coaching from the staff, Coach Ice, um, and, and the guys around him to make him better. What has Coach Ice Harris done to make you guys better over the last two weeks? Um, I, I think Coach Ice, what, he, what he's done best is, is stay on top of us with the, about the little things, protecting the ball. Um, if one of us have a fumble or anything in, in practice or anything of the sort, he'll make us stay out there and do extra work, protecting the ball. His main concern is just, just run the ball how you run it, but make sure you take care of the ball um, and make big plays. What's been the impact of the extra weight for you? Have you felt it at all the first couple of weeks of the season? Has it made you stronger in short yards? Did you feel any difference? I can say I feel, I feel the difference. Short yardage, taking sort of big hits, um, and, and hits that I don't see coming. That, that's why I feel it the most. Because probably last year around that time, I would feel it. I don't feel it as much this year after I put on the weight. Is the ankle 100 percent? Yes, sir. And in terms of the offensive line, did you talk to them after the Louisville game, telling them to keep their heads up that it's going to be a long season? I don't, I don't think I had to say anything to them. Um, the, the leadership of the, the line and the older guy that's on the line took their leadership and they made sure that they, they, they understood, so did the young guys understood that they can't have another game like that. So the leadership of the offensive line took care of that. This, this step up um, Arkansas State from FAMU, I think. Um, um, what, you know, what have you seen from Arkansas State? They, they did okay against you know Tennessee, and they played a lot of major programs. I, I see a very, very aggressive defense. Um, starting with the guy in the middle, number um, 48, the linebacker. Um, he, he's a big time player. Make plays for the defense. He's the the, the guy that the defense revolves around. He has the, the secondary. Um, a lot of press corn, a lot of physical guys, a lot of. A lot of guys are picked tough. It's going to be a tough football game. Okay. Not to get too much into the into the, the game plan, but I mean, do you see kind of an opportunity for you? I mean, they do have some really good DBs. They like to play nickel a lot. Do you maybe see a greater opportunity for the run game this week? Uh, I, me personally, I think every week is uh, kind of a week to run the ball. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter who we plan to. Uh, what the situation may be, I, I see every week as a, a week to run the ball. Duke, are you okay with fewer carries? Um, or would you rather get more? It really doesn't make a difference. Um, at the end of the day, we're getting a win. Mm -hmm. um, and the coach have a plan, and I'm just trusting what, what he wants from me and the team. Um, and I'm just going with it.